guardrails. The safety committee put out a report last year. In that report, they prioritized certain areas that they felt the guardrails were necessary to come still and from one to three. Uh, before you is a two areas that are were listed as a priority one. Uh, I've walked these areas and I've also had a estimate made by a installer. And these numbers are based on his estimate. In the two areas shown, there have been uh, three accidents in January alone, one very serious. There was another near accident we judged uh, on Saturday morning. Uh, there was little shoulder on some of these sections. There is a drop, a very abrupt drop, uh, I'm guessing somewhere around 25 feet. So I think there's a real, there's a real safety issue here. And I hope the board, even though this is an unbudgeted item, would consider this under a replacement uh, reserve item. The expenditure of $25,000 to put guardrails both on, both of these are on West Masters. And uh, I think that uh, I would strongly uh, recommend that these are put in place. And I think that in view of the hard work done by the committee, uh, I support their, their recommendation. Yeah. I know we're going to have discussion, but I just want to put forth just one fact before we start the discussion. That road is no different than it's been. There have never been guardrails there. When it's bad weather, and I know I don't live over that way, but if I did, I would go Lake Holiday and Lakeview versus going over the top. That's the first thing I would do. Um, secondly, the board and the financial task force went through 11 versions of this budget. We talked about every line, including all of these issues. The board made a decision not to do it this year. Uh, it's uh, 11 and it's $24,000. We have 30000 total continuous in our budget for the year, and it's not even through the second month. We need it. I realize we're talking safety, but we also need to balance what we can do and what we can't do in the given year. That's, I'll lead in. That's all it is. Who's next? David Terry Hillman? No, I was going to say the same thing, basically. It's not in the budget. Um, I'm confused as to the location, but that's okay. Both on Masters. But they're really not near Colonial Drive, are they? Can't be if it's West yeah. Masters. No, it's West Masters. It says Colonial Drive. West Masters. Huh? Yeah, that's Club. That's Club. Uh, it says Colonial. So where is it? It's near Colonial. No, it's country not. Club. Well, that's what I mean. It's confusing. Uh, uh, it's near Country Club, right? Yes. It's, it's, it's that should have been Country Club on both ends. It should it just just shortly before you come to Country Club, you're going down this really long. West road. of Country Club and east of Country yeah. Club on West Masters. Yeah, here's the most. Mm -hmm. uh, How many people have actually looked at these spots? These two spots. Walk. <coughs> Walk. Yeah. Nothing. Hello? Well, I, I definitely I drive that way. Do I mean, you have something to say about this? Well, um, at the time that, that this board rejected doing these uh, guardrails, we hadn't had three accidents. And I think that maybe we were crossing our fingers that we wouldn't. But I think in this case, uh, safety should come before a lot of other things. We have things on our on our budget that we budgeted, and things that we are considering that are not on the budget that are not nearly as much important as the safety of the members of this community. And I think that's what we need to look at. Yep. The comment is made here a couple of times that we've had three accidents in the last little bit of time. Would the outcome of any of those three accidents but been changed if we had guardrails? The serious one would have. The serious one would have been less serious. Yeah, these have been identified as the most one of the most dangerous areas. I understand. I understand. I think one of them. The side of the road, if you get one wheel off of the... It's about a foot. Yes, you have about a foot. You get one wheel off the side of that road, you're going to step sliding down. And that's on both sides of the road. Um, this 
area is going to be the next area developed. There's going to be a lot of truck traffic. Isn't that near Section 10? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There will be a lot of truck traffic in and out of Section 10 when it starts to develop. Yes. Right. Maybe we could get um, Bill and Smith to think about participating and talking to Bill these driver. That was thought too. Um, we have 18K carryover from the road program, which uh, this would be a good way to spend it. Good point. That's a good point. Ray, when you initially started talking about this a few minutes ago, you said that replacement reserve. Did you really mean that? Are you really proposing using that? I don't think we can. We have a contingency fund. Not the replacement reserve. No, we have 30,000 for the year. But you said replacement reserve. Yeah, That's a very you said, specific you said replacement, you meant operating. I meant operating. Okay, thank you, sir. Operating reserve. All right. I have looked at these two places. I, I must admit that I'm remiss in not having it done earlier, but Wade dragged my body over there and forced me to look down these ravines. And it is no, nothing but scary, in my opinion. And I believe all we're waiting for is the next one when somebody dies. I think we were lucky this, this winter, one of those three accidents, it wasn't a death, because they are truly, profoundly scary. I, I don't like spending money that we didn't plan to spend. I don't know how we're going to find uh, something, some place to save this much money and spend it here if we do decide to spend it here. But I can't think of a, a, a better gift for the safety of our community than guardrails at these two locations, is my opinion. Dave's idea is uh, brilliant. If in fact that's real money that we have left over. I say it is, right? The eighteen thousand. If that's real money, then I suggest that we put it to I want to. I want to double check that first, mm -hmm. sure, because I, I I didn't think we had. I was surprised when I saw that number in in, in, the, in your report this this week. But I didn't think we had that kind of money left. I'll I'll check it. Okay. Anybody else have anything to say? Okay. I'm not going to call a vote on this tonight. I don't think we're ready. Because we saw a lot of people who said they had never looked, actually looked down these ravines. I'll be glad to show any voters that like a tour. <laughs> yeah. Here's, 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 what I like, here's what I like to do. I like to. Is that a hand up, Ken? I was just going to ask you for mm -hmm. put like a little flag in the, in the two locations. I'm going to ask Ray to get a road. I'm going to ask Ray to get a spray can of paint and mark the shoulders. I've done that twice now in the last 30 days. They disappear even if you wipe the pavement clear because of the. Uh, it, it, a flag would probably be better, small, a little orange okay. one. Put a mark fixed up. Oh, Absolutely okay. clear where these two locations are. Mm -hmm. Remember, it's both sides. Both sides. Um, John, I want you to identify if we do have any roads money left over. So then that would possibly be enough to give us a comfort level in including this. And I want every board member to go and look at these two places. Get out of your car and look over both sides. Both places, both sides. Let's come back in March and uh, do this with uh, as much knowledge as we can do. Okay. Yeah. Just a point. I assume, but I don't know, were well, these all caused by ice issues? One of them, the, the serious one that really was, it was a miracle, it wasn't a uh, fatality. Uh, no, he had put his, uh, it was not icy, he had put his one wheel onto his shoulder and lost it. Or there, he may have. Uh, they have hit gravel and they will be icy. Another thing, too, is that it will be icy again. It's well, icy in the past. Not, not, it's icy. not this year the way we're going. If we're not going to now discuss it until March, we're not going to have any ice after that. Well, I'm going to so. keep my fingers crossed <laughs> because <laughs> I've, I've looked at these places and they are, as Glenn says, scary. I think these are scary at any time of the year. Yes. Of course, they're more scary when there's, when there's inclement weather. But uh, if we can't do any better, let's at least consider being ready for next year. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think we're ready to make a decision tonight, though. I don't think we all have all the facts.